Steve Paulo Poundstone, your new best workout buddy. I thought we'd do some exercises together. I know you're looking at my body thinking, why would I do the exercises she does? But if you knew how many Doritos I eat, you'd think I look fantastic. So, I like to start off with some jumpy jacks just to get the old ticker going. Hold on. I read that a lot of women like to do their kegels at stoplights when they're driving, but we've been shut down for a while. Okay, I thought we might do some uh, sit-ups. Uh, now, in the old days, people held your feet down, but we're liberated. Uh, so, I just uh, like that. That's all there is to it. Nothing tricky, pretty simple. Now, I don't like to count um, because I just think it makes it too hard. I, uh, you know, when I was, do you remember Jack LaLanne? He had two big dogs. Do you remember that? Two big white dogs. When I was a kid, uh, little, like before I, uh, before I'd started kindergarten, I was the youngest in my family. Well, I was always the youngest, even before I started kindergarten. But I was, uh, my mother would get the older kids off to school and then she would go back to bed. And I was sort of left to wander around the house. And I often gravitated downstairs to the, uh, television that was in this sort of dark, scary room in our house. And um, I would watch morning television, which hasn't improved much, I have to say, over the years. But there was, uh, the good news was there was I Love Lucy, and there was the Three Stooges, who I feel I was raised by. And there was Jack LaLanne. And I would try to do the exercises along with Jack LaLanne. And then he would say, uh, he apparently knew his audience well because he would say, kids, run and get your mother. And I, I don't think I did it multiple times, but I can remember one time in particular that I did go wake my mother up and say, Jack LaLanne wants you to come exercise. Uh, all right, I don't know, how many of these? By the way, this is a fake background. I know I watch a lot of those workout videos and like a girl will clearly be in her apartment, but she has a beach scene behind her. And that's the same thing here. My living room is really kind of shitty and run down, but you'd never know that with this fake background. All right, I think that's enough sit-ups. Let's see what's next. Um, ah, okay, ah. all right, here we go. Uh, don't get up. Um, all right, this is, uh, uh, I don't even know what this is called. The bridge sometimes it's called. It's, uh, you squeeze your butt when you go up, okay? And you push through your heels. I'm just, this is just what I've heard the, the women on the workout videos say, so I'm passing it along. If it turns out that's not true, blame them. All right, I, uh, as I said, I don't like to count. I like to use little poems like this one. I'm so sick of Trump. I'm using him to lose my rump. I'm so sick of Trump. I am using him to lose my rump. That, by the way, where is she? That's my cat Clue right there. Here, let's make it a little more challenging. Come here. There we go. I'm so sick of Trump. I am using him to lose my rump. I'm so sick of Trump. I am using him to lose my rump. Oh, good. Mo came over <laughs> to eat the cat. That's good, Mo. Thank you. Oh, easy. Don't eat that cat. I don't, is that a? Is that a? Is that a command? Do, okay, all right, there's another, there's another part of this. Okay, now you, um, all right, so you're going to do kind of the same thing. You're up like this, but you're going to put your foot up, okay? Now when it goes up, you point it like this, and then when it comes down, 
you bend it like this. You flex it, that is. Okay, so up is the Barbie foot. Remember how Barbie's feet didn't move? They were just always in the high heel shoe position, which is a lesson for you high heel shoe wearers. Okay, so you flex it when you go down and you Barbie foot it when you go up. Um, my dog is actually flossing with my thumb right now. Uh, okay, and remember to squeeze your abs and uh and squeeze your butt uh okay um one time many years ago i was uh okay so i'm gonna put it up like that barbie foot and then down many years ago i was in new york for something and there was a documentarian there that contacted me because she was making a documentary about barbie it was like some you know, some big Barbie birthday, I think. And she asked me if I wanted to, you know, be interviewed for this, and I must have agreed because I went over there to where she was making it. And she interviewed me, but all of her questions steered me, like, she definitely had a point of view, and instead of her saying it, she wanted me to say it. She was very upset about Barbie. Um, now, it's not like I think Barbie's a great idea, but this woman was like convinced that she was the source of every woman's challenges. And uh, it made me kind of feel a little defensive of Barbie, you know? I finally said to the woman, I go, look, you know, it's not that bad. I said, it's not like I'm jealous of Barbie. On her best night, she slept in a box in my sister's closet. I said, you know, yes, she had like the perfect body, but you had to flip her upside down and smush her head to get her pants on her. I'm not jealous of that. All right. Okay, Barbie foot, flex foot, Barbie foot, flex foot, foot, excuse me, and uh, squeeze your butt. Okay, that's, oh, Jesus. Uh, it's the peaceable kingdom over here. Now, remember the dog push. There's also the dog pull. It's done this way. Okay, all right. I think that's enough of those. Um, now you may feel a pain from this, like right about here in your solar plexus. That's from where the dog stepped. Uh, okay, let's see what's next. Uh, oh, okay. Lunges. I don't know why they're called lunges. You're not really lunging. Um, where's my hat? Uh, oh, my dog Mo works as kind of the house band. A lot of people have like a driving beat of uh, some sort of uh, hip hop music behind their videos. I use just a squeaky toy and it's played by my dog Mo. Thank you Mo, fantastic. Um, okay, so the, the lunge, you're gonna put one foot forward. I suck at these, but it's, it's gonna really make you feel good about yourself. So you put one foot forward. Try to do it in time to the squeak. Um, okay. okay. So you put one foot forward and then you're gonna bend the other knee down, which is technically not really lunging. The lunge would be when you put the foot forward. This is just collapsing under the string. Um, if there's any men working out with me right now, and there should be, um, remember in the, you know, oh, what a feeling. Remember in flash dance when that actress, when the character Alex, took her bra off under her sweatshirt. I can, I can take off a whole goddamn wedding dress under my sweatshirt. I'm not gonna do it now, but I'll do it later. Okay, so if there's any guys watching, um, this, the difficulty of this exercise is why you would never wanna work in the Trump administration. Because when you genuflect to him, you could pull something. All right, it's important to do the other side or you're gonna run oddly. Uh, oh, here, I learned this from watching the workout videos. They always turn and show you. Of course, if it's your bad side, why would you want it? Okay, there we go. Ooh, I almost totally went down on that one, I'll be honest. None of the women that I watch in the workout videos they never seem to strain. And every now and then they turn and go, 
Good job. As if they can really see that I'm sitting in a chair eating chips. Good job. You look unbelievable. All right. I think that's enough of those. Now we're going to my favorite exercise, which is plank therapy. Mo, you're going to have to move. Move over there, buddy. Perfect. Uh, all right, here we go. So planking is my favorite thing because it's somewhat sedentary. So it's sort of like partway through a push-up, except for you put your elbows on the ground. It's really best to wear some sort of eye protection because of the dog. Um, and you engage your core. Now, I am not just engaging my core. I am actually engaged to my core. We're putting the wedding off until after the pandemic is over. But, um, uh, there. Whew. So, uh, I took my dogs to the dog park the other day. And, uh, there, there was uh, only a handful of people there. Usually when we arrive at the dog park, there's like one dog, and then that dog leaves when we get there. Um, so my dogs mostly just sort of wander around a larger space by themselves. But this time there were a few other dogs there. It was good. And then we've been there for long enough, you know, over an hour. And then somebody, somebody came in with a bunch of kids, and my dog's serious. He's older, and uh, a little girl was mean to him one time, and he's never forgotten it. And so... I was like, you better get my dogs out of here. So I start to saddle the dogs up, but I guess they did. There were these little kids trying to, trying to, trying to pet them. And they, I don't think they did anything, but they barked, you know, and it scared the kids. And I was like, oh, sorry, sorry. So I grabbed the dogs and I start to put the harnesses on them. And uh, I get the harness on w one dog. Uh, no, I guess I had on one dog and I put the leash under my foot. And my dog, Mo, uh, I had her leash under my foot while I was trying to put Sirius's harness on. And Mo pulled away. And there was a lady coming in with a, a little dog. And Mo ran over to the little dog with her leash on because she broke away from me. And she sort of lunged at it. She didn't do anything to it, but she did lunge and bark. And uh, I was like, sorry, sorry. And I run over to grab her. And the lady takes her dog like into her arms and she was like, why are you here? Get out of here. Those dogs shouldn't be in here. Get out, get out. And then she cuddles her dog in her arms and she goes, it's a golden doodle. As if that had anything at all to do with what had just taken place. Um, and again, the dog didn't, he didn't do anything other than startle the woman. But apparently, if you have a golden doodle, then no other dogs should be around. Uh, it's a golden doodle, don't you understand? All right, get out, it's a golden doodle. I kinda don't really like golden doodles, to be honest with you anyways. Not that I would encourage my dog to lunge at a golden doodle, I wouldn't, that's not who I am. But to me, it, that's not a breed. It's a mutt. You've taken two breeds and played some special music and put some lighting on and, and gotten them to uh, create a mixture. It's a mutt, it's called a mutt. That's what that is. I mean, my dog, Mo, is part golden retriever and part Newfoundland, but I don't call her a goofy. She's not a Goofinland. She's a mutt, that's what she is. You know, you don't make a new dog. Someone showed me their dog one time, and they said, they said it's a pug -a muffin which it was a pug with blueberries in it. They showed me another one that was a piddle. It was a pit that was incontinent. That's my cat Oreo. 
Oreo works in independent films. All right. Oh, oh my God, that's all I got. Cut.